Sometimes we need to divide a whole number by a fraction, or one fraction by another fraction. We'll start by talking about dividing and multiplying. Dividing and multiplying are opposite operations. This means that dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Let's see how this works. Let's start with 20 divided by 4, which can also be shown as the fraction 20 over 4, like this. Because this is the same as 20 divided by 4, we can call 4 the divisor. The reciprocal of the divisor 4 is 1 over 4. Now we'll take the numerator 20 and multiply it by the reciprocal of the divisor, which is 1 quarter. So 20 over 4 is the same as 20 times 1 quarter. We see that 20 and 4 are both divisible by 4, so we can divide each of these by 4 to simplify this. 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5, and 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. So this is equal to 5 times 1 over 1 which is equal to 5. This makes sense because we know that 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. So always remember, dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Let's try another example. This time we have a whole number 16 divided by the fraction 2 thirds. Remember dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So we multiply the numerator 16 by the reciprocal of the fraction 2 thirds, which is 3 over 2. 16 is the same as 16 divided by 1, so we can express what we have like this, 16 over 1 times 3 over 2. Notice that the diagonal numbers 16 and 2 can both be divided by 2. So we'll do this here to simplify the multiplication. Dividing 16 by 2 gives us 8, and dividing 2 by 2 gives us 1. So we're left with 8 over 1 times 3 over 1, which is the same as 8 times 3. And 8 times 3 equals 24, so 24 is our final answer. We'll summarize by stating that 16 divided by 2 thirds is equal to 24. Sometimes we need to divide one fraction by another fraction. Let's look at an example problem. A relay race is being run at a middle school track meet. The total distance of the run is three quarters of a kilometer. Each runner in a team must run one eighth of a kilometer. The question is how many runners are needed on each team? To answer this, we need to know how many times 1 8 will go into the total distance of 3 quarters. So we need to take the fraction 3 quarters and divide it by the fraction 1 8. Remember dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So we multiply 3 quarters by the reciprocal of 1 8, which is 8 over 1. Another way we can state what we're doing is we invert the divisor and multiply. The divisor is 1 8, so inverting it gives us 8 over 1, which we multiply the 3 quarters by. So now we need to multiply the fraction 3 quarters times 8 over 1. Notice the diagonal numbers 8 and 4 can both be divided by 4, so we'll do that to simplify the multiplication. Dividing 8 by 4 gives us 2, and dividing 4 by 4 gives us 1. So we're left with multiplying the fractions 3 over 1 times 2 over 1, which gives us 6 over 1, which is equal to 6. So 3 quarters divided by 1 eighth is equal to 6. So looking at our original question, which states the total distance is 3 quarters of a kilometer, and each runner must run 1 8 of a kilometer, we now know that 3 quarters divided by 1 8 is equal to 6. So 1 8 goes into 3 quarters 6 times. Therefore, each team must have 6 runners. Let's check our answer. If each team has 6 runners, and each runner runs 1 8 of a kilometer, the total distance covered by 6 runners is 6 times 1 8. 
which is the same as 6 over 1 times 1 over 8. Notice that 6 and 8 can both be divided by 2. Dividing 6 by 2 gives us 3, and dividing 8 by 2 gives us 4. So we're left with multiplying the fractions 3 over 1 times 1 over 4, which is equal to 3 quarters. So six runners running 1 eighth of a kilometer each will run a total of 3 quarters of a kilometer. And the total distance of the run is 3 quarters of a kilometer, so six runners per team is just right. Let's summarize what we've learned. In order to divide a whole number n by a fraction a over b, we multiply the numerator, n, by the reciprocal of the fraction, which is b over a. Another way of saying what we need to do is invert the divisor, a over b, and multiply to give us n times b over a. Once we have our two numbers to multiply, we can simplify them, if possible, before we multiply them. In order to divide one fraction, c over d, by another fraction, a over b, multiply the fraction on top, represented by c over d, times the reciprocal of the fraction on the bottom, which is b over a. Or we could say, take the fraction on top, c over d, then take the fraction on the bottom and invert it and multiply it. At this point, we check the fractions we are now multiplying and simplify them if possible before we multiply them. Now that you've seen a few examples, it's important to get lots of practice dividing by fractions. It's a skill you use a lot. Mm -hmm.